So I got the Peg Turbo the day it came out because I was excited to see a Pegasus with the hyped Zoomax foam. So I quickly added it to my rotation and have been running in it for the past few months and am ready to give you guys my full review. So let's start with this upper. The fly mesh on the Peg Turbo was nice and breathable without compromising durability. I'm not quite sure the purpose of the racing stripe down the middle besides the looks, but I didn't have any problems with it. With the fly wire on these guys, I was able to keep my foot locked down without having to crank the laces. Another thing I liked was the fin on the heel collar, which actually did seem to put less pressure on my Achilles while still keeping my heel locked in. The toe box on the Peg Turbo had me a little worried at first. While the length and width were right, the volume on it was a little shallow. It was really close to the top of my toes. I debated playing around with different sizes, but I just started wearing thinner socks and that seemed to help. After a while, the upper loosened up and I broke the shoes in and the toe box volume wasn't a problem anymore. While I didn't get any blisters or rubbing, I could definitely see that happening to other people until they get broken in. So let's talk about the thing I'm most excited about now, the midsole. Being made up of both Zumex and React, this shoe combined both of Nike's newest cushioning to create a versatile cushion that I find to be softer while going slower, but adds a bit of extra responsiveness and bounce while going faster. If you haven't seen my React vs Zumex video, check that out because I go into depth about the difference between the two and the construction of the Peg Turbo. But essentially, it has an outer layer of React foam, which helps the durability and stability of the shoe. Without it, I think the Zoomex would wear down too quick and the ride might lose some of that bounce. So I'm going to go on a little bit of a tangent here, but I think when the Peg Turbo was announced, everybody was expecting it to be a lower cost Vaporfly 4%, where it was just a really fast race day shoe. And Nike's marketing didn't seem to help with that either, as they even write fast on the shoe. But that's not what the Peg Turbo was designed for. It was designed for those runners that are logging a lot of miles and want a daily trainer that's cushioned, lightweight, and versatile. A shoe that will work for your long runs, recovery days, or faster workouts. Then, once it's time for race day, you put on the Zoomfly or Vaporfly, which have those carbon fiber plates and are perfect for fast paces. It might be that I went into the shoe with an open mind and not having tried the Vaporfly 4%, but I fell in love with the mixture of softness and responsiveness. Pretty much what I was hoping for when I first tried the Epic Reacts. Alright, so now we come down to the outsole. The pentagonal lugs have provided pretty good traction on concrete and dirt roads, but in some high wear areas, it seems to be getting shred down pretty quickly. It's definitely way better than the Zoom Flies or a lot of other shoes out there, but not a huge thing overall. One thing that really surprised me though was the exposed React, which that actually has held up pretty well after a couple hundred miles. So besides a shallow toe box that needed some time to loosen up, I didn't really have any major problems with this shoe. In fact, I think it climbed its way to the top as one of my favorite Nike shoes. The extremely light yet very cushioned midsole that seemed to work for me at almost every pace really made me think that the $180 price point is maybe kinda almost worth it. I do think it's still too expensive though. I would have been happy with $160. I think the shoe is a great choice for an everyday trainer for those serious runners, but if you're a more casual runner that maybe isn't logging as many miles, I'd say save yourself $60 and go pick up the normal Peg 35. Mainly because I think the Peg Turbo really shines on those long runs and up-tempo paces. So we're only a month away from the Vimero 14 being released. I'm really curious to see how that guy's gonna compare to the Peg Turbo. But until then, keep on running.